legacy. This word has been on my mind in the recent tragic event of the nine people that passed away in that helicopter with Kobe Bryant and his daughter. And I think about this word a lot. This word has, has always been on my mind. So in this edition of Mindset Monday, I wanna talk through something that I've recently learned that's really helped me to think about legacy in an entirely different way. Let's begin. So the word legacy, you know, when I heard that word when I was younger, I didn't really know much about it, but recently I read something and it really, it gave me goosebumps. And it's this idea, when you think about a tree, when you think about planting a young tree, do you wanna plant it out in the middle of nowhere by itself? Or do you wanna plant it where there's a group of other trees, but maybe a nice little clearing where other trees are. And what I learned is that young trees will do better around other trees. And you see, this is where legacy comes into play. When you are planted amongst other people, people that are striving, people that are moving in a direction, a forward direction, like all of these trees that are growing up, you see, here's what happens. The roots that have been planted by those older trees, the younger trees have an ability to find those roots. And now as they get deeper, they follow the path of those roots. And then over time, the roots start to get this interconnection. They start to be slowly connected together so that the stronger trees will share the nutrients with the younger trees. And doesn't that sound very familiar? It sounds to me like wisdom. It sounds to me like the passing of information. And you see, legacy is all about what you're going to leave behind for those that are around you, those that, that, that maybe remembered you, but what are you going to leave behind as a memory for them? And this is the element of Kobe. When I think about Kobe, I was not a tremendous Kobe fan, but the one thing that everybody talks about was that Kobe was dedicated to seeing his kids and seeing his family to the point he would rent and figured out helicopters. And he figured out a way to quickly get to and from basketball practice to picking up his kids to seeing his kids playing basketball games. You see, this was a normal part of his life for many, many years. And the transition that he made going from being a professional basketball player to being the ultimate dad, you step back and you look at this is the legacy that a lot of NBA players are going to look at and they're going to remember him for that and applaud him for that. And that's the legacy that he's leaving behind. And he told a lot of the NBA players, he said, listen, your family is what you have. You need to be really rooted in that family. So in this edition of Mindset Money, here's the thing that I want to share with you is that you need to find others that are deeply rooted, that are moving in the right direction, and you need to sink your roots down with them and get that nutrients, get that wisdom, because one day you're going to be the tree and you're going to be spreading your roots for someone else. And you need to be spreading those roots deep and you need to be spreading those roots wide so that you can pass down all of the, all of the wisdom, all of the knowledge that has been given to you by others. This is Mindset Money. My name is Tomas Martinez. Be sure to subscribe and make sure you remember that your legacy, what you're building your life around is going to be something people will see long after you live.